everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I have a quick tag to show you. I am doing a tag swap with um, Susan at, I believe her YouTube name is Iowa2308, and um, she is hosting this swap, and she um, asked us to make six tags, and it, there were some specific things that it had had to have. It had to have a dress form on it, and it kind of like a sewing theme, and um, you had to make six, and there had to be a... Um, a um, tag on the back or an envelope that had your information on it and otherwise I think that was it I don't think there was any there weren't any color restrictions um they did have to be a standard size number eight tag which mine are and um so anyway I finished these up and I hope I'm allowed to show it to you I don't remember in the rules saying not to show them on YouTube so um and because I failed to make one for myself I need to send her six and I should have made seven in order to keep one. I did want to film it so I could remember what I did. But um, anyway, this is the tag I made and I went with a, um, it ended up being, they were supposed to be um, kind of vintage and mine ended up being more kind of shabby chic, um, but vintagey still. I mean, I think it's, I think it's fine. Um, but anyway, I started out with a number eight tag in the off-white color. And um, first of all, the background um, I did, I went ahead and used a dress form stamp, and this one is by Stamp Abilities. And I did that, and I embossed it just on the, the off-white tag um, with clear embossing powder. And then I masked it and um, did the technique where you use distress ink and then you thin it down with water and drag the tag through. And instead of using water, I used um, diamond dust or the diamond um, glimmer mist. So, and I used um, antique linen, uh, worn lipstick and, oh gosh, the other pink one, shabby rose or vintage rose or whatever the rose one, tattered rose, that one. And then, um, so I drug it through um, the wet ink. I just put my ink pad down on my mat and then sprayed it with the, I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there, and sprayed it with the glimmer mist and then um, drug them through. So all the backgrounds of all of them are just slightly different um, because of how the ink was on there and how it dried. And then I masked the dress form and I went over it, I stamped over it in antique linen with my, um, with a Harlequin stamp that you can kind of see on this tag. Um, and I did that, um, like I said, over top of that. And then the dress form wasn't coming out quite as um, much as I wanted it to, so I ended up using an ink dauber, and I went ahead and did antique linen around the dress form just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I added some crocheted uh, lace to the bottom, and then I made these flowers out of, I used a um, scallop punch, and I made the flowers out of a dress pattern, so that like the tissue paper dress pattern and um, just did, I think I did about 15 layers and put a brad in the middle, and I can do a tutorial on that if you guys would like to see how I did those. Um, but anyway, so I just made flowers out of that. In fact, let me show you this other tag. Um, it'll show you, you can see the more of the pattern of the, or more of the wording on the pattern on this one. And then I added, I cut this um, swirl out on my Cricut, and um, I used the um, Life's Journey paper. And the reason I ended up using Life's Journey paper is that when I did the, when I covered the back, um, there was just this real pretty t um, cream and tan and pink that matched really well. So anyway, and so I wanted some text on there. So I just cut the swirl out of text to ink the edges. And then I have a couple of um, um, roses here from Wild Orchid Crafts and then I just have a little button to that speaking of, it was a sewing theme that's just a little button that I laced with button twine and I'm um, kind of peeking out there and then at the top I did um, some cream seam binding and I am the worst bow tire in the world you guys terrible. Um, but uh, anyway, um, this is pretty forgiving. This uh, seam binding is pretty forgiving. And I didn't want it to be crinkled, so I didn't crinkle it. I just wanted it to be flat. And it's a cream color. And then I had made these stick pins 
and I'm not very skilled at making stick pins, um, so they're pretty simple, but um, I was going to have them coming out of the flower, and then once I got the flourish on down here, I just didn't, I didn't like the pin. It was too busy, so I ended up sticking the pin through up here, and it's a, it's a um, pink pearl pin, and I just added a little um, finding, and then these little, these are little faceted pink um, glass crystals that are I just got at Hobby Lobby. And then um, I ended up, um, because these, I put them through the top and the, the pokey part was down here, I ended up just gluing another bead to the bottom so it wouldn't stick the recipient. Um, and I hope these hold up. I used um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and I hope that that holds up and those stay on there. I don't know, like I said, these are only the, I've only made a few stick pins in my day, so um, I hope they hold up. But anyway, so that is my tag, and I'm happy with how it turned out. And then on the back, um, I like I said, just picked a coordinating paper, and these little are all different on each tag, and these are also little, um, the these little squares that came on some paper in the Life's Journey collection, and um, so I just cut out um, one of those, and I only um, stuck them down by two sides, and then I made just a really simple little tag. Um, these little, I wanted to use this little charm, that were the scissors and I ended up not liking it on the front because it was too dark. So um, I ended up um, just stamping a little stamp there and I don't know if you can see, um, that's a third generation stamp with the Jenny Bolin um, brown sugar ink. And then I ended up using my um, Stardust pen to just make it shimmer a little bit. I don't know if that's coming out. I'm trying to get it on there but um, to make it shimmer a little bit and then it just has my um, information on the back name and my YouTube channel so um, anyway so that and that just tucks in like that and um, so that is my tag I thought like I said I I um, thought they came out kind of pretty this is the first swap I've done in a while so um, I was pleased with how they came out and I hope everybody who gets them likes them and I hope you guys are all having a great day if you have any questions about this tag don't hesitate to let me know Take care, guys. Bye.